Hi guys, it's Angie Bell with my Fairy Treasures. Okay, you guys, I'm sharing today a um, Tilda doll, and I made this one especially for Maggie White, and um, she's Maggie White on YouTube. She won my um, somewhere around 400 and something giveaway and birthday giveaway. So um, here it is, Maggie. I hope you like it. Um, I had a blast making it. I love making these Tilda dolls. It's one of my many obsessions, as I always say. Um, I just wanted to do a quick video on it so that you can see it, Maggie. And it's um, coming. I'm sending everything out today. And I uh, personal message you, personal messaged you that it's being sent out so you can look out for it. Um, anyway, um, here's the hair that I normally do. You know, I take um, I take this yarn I get from Joann's, I think. And it's, I'll show you guys, just in case some people are warning about the hair. It's a Lion Brand yarn. And I take it and I just unwind the um, the strands of, of yarn. And then it comes out with like this wavy hair. So I think that turns out really pretty. Um, for the eyes, I use some, um, some rhinestones, some blue ones. Um, some Hobby Lobby bead trim for the necklace. Um, and then just kind of show you guys everything there's trim around the waist i love this fabric here i think it's just so pretty i love the bell sleeves i, I um this is a really like piece of uh broadcloth lace i think and then i kind of gather it how i gather the, the skirt i gather the sleeves and then i i mostly everything is sewn on the sewing machine just where I have to like embellish a little bit is where I use hot glue, but I use hot glue for um, fabric. So, um, but so this is um, sewn and then hot glued here and hot glued here to get the little embellishments on because these are just like impossible to like sew those little embellishments on. It'd be like insane. Um, this is all sewn on, of course, all the trimming on the bottom. So I'll show you the layers of, of lace. There's one, there's two, and there's three, and they're all avocado dyed. Um, and then this is bead trim here. I love this fabric. Isn't it so pretty? I think it's very Tilda looking. Okay, and then underneath is a real pretty light pink. I think it's such a pretty fabric. I love it. Isn't that gorgeous? So pretty. And then a couple layers of lace, avocado dyed, and then this. I'll show you, make sure my hand wasn't in the way. You guys, I've been playing with jelly plates, so if my nails look a little bit, sorry. Um, and then this is the last layer here. Let's see if you guys can see, you guys can see that. That's the last layer here. Very pretty. And then here's the lace again. Avocado dyed. And this is all Hobby Lobby trim, I believe. Yeah, I think so. And then that there. So I think it turned out really, really pretty. I'm happy with it. I hope Maggie loves it. And I just want to give you guys some quick close-ups. So excuse. Okay, just give you some quick close-ups so you can kind of see. There we go. All right, I'm gonna go all the way down. I love that big rose right in the right in the center of the dress. So pretty. And then all the mini layers of lace. So, okay, you guys, one other thing I want to share with you guys, besides the doll, is I have been playing with jelly plates. And I've heard of it before, but I just didn't, I know it didn't really register with me. And then one, a couple days ago, I saw someone doing some jelly plate stuff. And I'm trying to think who I saw, because I'd like to give credit to who I saw playing with it. Um, Poet Spice. Hi, Poet Spice. Uh, she was playing with jelly. She just got a jelly, a jelly plate. And... I saw what she was doing with it, and I'm like, oh my gosh. And then so I looked at her video, and I started looking at a bunch of other videos. Now I'm obsessed. So I just want to share with you guys, okay, some stuff that I've been doing with the jelly plate. Some of the things I've come up with. Um, Maggie, I um, covered the jelly plate um, paper that I made um, on this folder. This is a manila folder, which carries a bunch of the uh, ephemera pieces that I told you that you would win. Okay, so those are all in this folder. Um, so, so this is jelly printed, and I am obsessed. You guys, go on YouTube, look up jelly plate um, designs or how to jelly plate, how to use a jelly plate, and you guys will see. And you guys can come up with stuff like this. I love it. 
I mean, you can use this for scrapbook pages. You can use it to cover boxes. You can use it in your journals. You can make a journal just of all your um, jelly prints. Okay, there we go. And it's just so cool because there's like no right or wrong to it. And I'll show you a few more. Let me just make sure I'm in frame too. Yeah, I'm in frame. Okay, let me just... Sh if I could get it a little tighter. Well, you guys can see good. I guess we're good. Okay. I just want to show you a few more. Put just a second, guys, while I gather them up. It's so addicting, you guys, making these jelly prints. Oh, my gosh. It's like once you start, oh, my gosh, you can't stop. Now, you guys, I didn't buy a jelly print. Um... Let me think of who told me about it. Um, what is her name? The Frugal Crafter. She tells you how to make a permanent jelly plate that doesn't spoil. Um, so I used her tutorial and made a jelly print. And you just make it out of gelatin. Gelatin, uh, glycerin, and water, I think. And the glycerin, or not glycerin, is it glycerin? Yeah, not glycerin. Um, yeah, it is glycerin. Yeah, the glycerin is what acts as the preservative. So, okay. So, see, these are some of the ones I did. Just to show you guys, just so you guys see. Here's one. Aren't they cool, you guys? I just love them. This one's more subdued, but I was going to keep printing over it, but I kind of like the subduedness. I'll tell you another one that's really subdued, but I love how it turned out. Look at this black one. Here's this one. Hopefully you guys are seeing them really good. Here's another pretty cool one. Uh, let's see. I think this one turned out, this black one turned out even better. Isn't that cool? I love it. I don't want to show you the ones that I'm still working on. Yeah, so that's it for right now. The other ones are kind of like in process still. So those are, these are the kind of the ones that are done. So anyway, you guys, you can just come up with some really, really cool stuff. I just started doing this today with my homemade jelly plate. I'm, I'm probably going to buy one because this one breaks down after a while. Like after you do like, I don't know, you can do like 20 prints before it breaks down, but it starts cracking. But you can just take it and put it back in the microwave, melt it down, and then it'll solidify again within a couple hours, and you can start jelly printing again. But I just figured, I know I like it. I'm willing to spend the 20, 30 bucks, whatever it costs to, to do it, so... Anyway, so anyway, this is coming to you also, Maggie, um, filled with a bunch of ephemera that I have that I've made copies of, um, and I shared that with you also, okay, which I already had told you was in, in your, one of the things in your winnings. Okay, you guys, that is it. I will talk to you guys in the next video. Oh, really quickly, if you haven't subscribed to my station, I would love for you to do so. If you could give me a thumbs up, that'd be great. And you guys, thank you for all your kind words. Everybody has been giving me such wonderful compliments on all my videos and projects over the last uh, couple of weeks what you guys always do but i just haven't been able to get back to um the comments so i just want to say thank you to everyone and i will get back to back to the comments and respond i've just been a little bit busy trying to um make sure i finished up the tilda doll um finishing up some projects that i was i i just overcommitted myself too much <laughs> is basically what it came down to but i'm winding everything up so i'll be able to respond to everybody's um comments but they're wonderful and they're so encouraging and i just want to say thank you okay guys talk to you in the next video bye bye